this computer. So, Kastaev linear regression in lines starting with uh, 53. Ah, no, in lines starting with uh, 19, we import data. In line uh, starting with 52, uh, we set in data set as panel and we run descriptive statistics. In line uh, 65, uh, we run linear regression. Uh, so uh, what we do here, uh, 69, we get rid of scientific notation. In line 71, we uh, set up our model. Uh, P1 is uh, the name, and again, it could be anything. Then we have LM, which indicates uh, this is linear regression. Uh, pre pre premiums inflation adjusted, uh, this is our dependent variable. It always comes first. Then we have this weird sign which indicates that after this, we are going to have a set of independent variables, which are in this case post variable, which is an indicator whether or not Trump administration started implementing his policies in healthcare. We have a uh, young adults imputed variable, which indicates share of young adults in a state. Uh, we have uninsured variable, which indicates share of uninsured. And we have uh, in a uh, variable uh, income inflation adjusted comma and P data is the name of the data we are working with. And summary, we provide summary of our data. And the way we interpret it, adjusted R square 0 0.37, which means 37% of change in premiums is explained by independent variables in our model. Uh, post variable indicates it's a statistically significant at 99% level. And it means that uh, since Trump administration started uh, implementing uh, his policies, premiums increased by $166. And we know this by nature of the variable. Premiums are dollar variable. Um, uh, then we check for heteroscedasticity. Uh, we, uh, we get residuals from the model and we plot them. Since there is obvious pattern in the error term, as we can compare it to the PowerPoint, there is a heteroscedasticity in the model. And uh, let me replace the RMD file. <clears throat> 